Hi, I wanted to do a uh, flip through of this journal that I finished. This is a mushroom themed journal. It, um, I do a lot of walking in the woods. I love to be out in the woods and I love to take pictures. And one of the things that I seem to find that I like to take pictures of much is, is um, I'm sorry, mushrooms and lichens and funguses and stuff like that because it seems like every year there's something different, something I haven't seen before, something new. But um, throughout the whole journal are a few pic of the pictures that I've taken. As of, here's one. Uh, the rest of them are, um, let's see, this is a watercolor on, I uh, can't remember what kind of paper it was. Anyway, it's a real soft, thin paper. Uh, some die cuts, some old botanical prints of mushrooms, and uh, threw out about the same, the die cuts, some more botanical prints, another picture that I took, and some more die cuts. Um, inside is a lot of tea stained, coffee stained pictures and pockets. Here's a little picture I took of uh, some little tiny little red, I think this is a lichen maybe, I don't know. Um, several tuck pockets with some stenciling and stamping. Some tags. Uh, throughout also there are several fold up spots with the little tuck ends. Uh, tags, stenciling, die, uh, die cut rather. It's a very roughly put together um, journal. The pieces are glued in. Almost all the pages are made from junk mail envelopes. And you have to forgive me because I'm trying to look through my view, my, find my phone here, and my glasses aren't quite right, and I can't quite see what I'm doing. So anyway, there's a piece of vellum, spot to write on, and a photo. This is a pocket. Uh, we have a tuck spot here, uh, just a flap here, another pocket. Let's see, we have a, a pocket here and a photograph and the tag. Um, some greens on some on the coffee stain writing spot. And here we have a uh, some tags. There's a photograph that I took of some moisture droplets on the mushroom. And these tags fit into this band. It's stenciled. I said you have to forgive me, I can't see. Okay, so here's a tag with a photograph. This is the uh, old logging road that goes back into the woods behind their house up into the mountains that I walk on really often. Another one of my watercolored mushrooms with this tag. And there's some die cuts. I'll flip here. And let's see, I missed. This is also a pocket in this. All of these have a... Um, a pocket at least on one side since they are envelopes. And there's a fold out, some stenciling and stamping, some little details. These are names, botanical names of some mushrooms I found in an old, the old graphic that some of these came out of. Old botanical graphic. Uh, there's a vellum pocket. And again, this is a pocket here. And in behind the window on this pocket is a picture, photo, another watercolor mushroom. Um, here's a pocket, a couple of tags, a little bit of stamping. There's a little bee and a leaf. And this is a band you can put. Here's a tag that I dropped out and it has some little mushrooms on the back. Some die and a die some die cutting. <coughs> it's a photo I took. And on this band is actually this is texture paste. So this all these 
stencil leaves and ferns are kind of raised with texture paste. And a pocket, die cut, and a photograph. Let's see. Uh, there's a photograph behind this pocket and some photographs over here. There's some of the colors bled and made a really interesting look to the photographs. Some of them are a little more natural, but let's see. Pocket here and a band on this page. And a pocket here on the back. Let's see, three tags in here. And as I said before, the whole, the, all the signatures are glued, kind of a hinge gluing system. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for looking through my book with me, my journal. Bye-bye.